Welcome back, friends. It's day eight of our 45-day listing challenge. Goals are to clear those death piles, develop some listing strategies, and get in the habit of listing consistently daily. So today we're going to talk about stock photos. How do you feel about them? If you've gone into my eBay or Poshmark, you know that I love a stock photo. And you also know that a lot of platforms, I think all of the platforms, don't allow the use of stock photos, but kind of turn a blind eye to it. If you don't want to get caught in that gray area of using stock photos, there is a new trick to use them. Well, to create your own at least, using ChatGPT. So I am gonna walk you through those steps today. So make sure you comment down below, hit all of those buttons and let's get into it. Stock photos are going to take your listing to the next level. But since we're going to be creating our own stock photo, you don't have to worry about those pesky copyright laws. Now adding a model to a garment boost the click-through rate significantly. So click-through is how many times a person actually has their item in front of you, your list, their listing in front of you, and then they actually click on it. More click-throughs are going to equal more sales in the long run. So we want the buyer to stop on our listing and getting that modeled stock photo is going to help us do that. Okay, I'm recording my list perfectly screen again, we are going to pop down to an, a garment that does not have a stock photo. So we're gonna use this airy sleeveless top. I'm just gonna click on it and click on it again. And then I'm just going to take a screenshot of it. Hold on. So once I capture the screenshot, which that is the first step, I actually need a clear photo of the item. The next step is to open up ChatGPT and I'm going to add the photo and then create a prompt about the photo, about what I want it to do. So the prompt I created, there's my photo there, create a full length image of a model wearing this tank top with denim shorts on white background. Then we're going to let chat do its work. So it normally takes a, about two minutes for chat to create the image and it created two images for me. So I prefer the one on the left here. Um, I don't know why I just like it better. They look very similar. So what I'm going to do now is just take her and drag her off the side of my screen. Now, this is the same steps. I'm working on a MacBook, but it's probably the same steps on any device um, and any platform. So I'm listing in list perfectly, but even if you were listing to Poshmark or eBay or Depop, you could just save the items to your, your desktop and then add them to the listing. So now I'm just gonna add it to my listing and move it up to step box one. And now I have a stock photo that I created for this tank top based off of my original photo. If you want a back view of the garment, you do the same thing. You take a back image of the garment, screenshot it, upload it into ChatGPT, put the same specifications for your model because you want them to line up and then it will create a back view and then you'll have a front and a back view of your garment on a model. Always stay true to the garment. Do not ask chat to change anything about the garment, including the color or the pattern. You want it to look like the garment that is in your photographs. So, and if it's pants, specify if it's wide leg cropped capri so that it does it the right length on the model. 
So these enhanced images are going to make your listings stand out even more. You can also vary your model. I noticed um, that I always get the same dark haired, olive skin model, but if I wanted an African American model or a blonde blue, um, blue eyed hair model, you need to specify that so that it will create the kind of image that you want to look. I, of course, want a diverse group of models in my stock photos. So you have some homework. I want you to create a stock photo using ChatGPT and put your stock photo in, your go in the comments down below so we can all see each other's creations. And if you have any questions or need clarification, let me know that in the comments so that I can update the video. I'll see you tomorrow for day nine of our listing challenge. We're chugging forward towards the end of the year, providing those real reseller solutions, clearing out those death piles, and being set up for success for 2026. Do all of the things, and I will see you in the next one, friends.